everyone, uh, welcome to August's vlog. Seems like yesterday I was filming July's vlog and it's already August so that uh, time is just flying by. Don't know where it's going. Uh, there are a few announcements that I wish to make. Um, in July, between July and August, uh, my husband and I, my mom and dad, my aunt and uncle, and my cousin we all celebrated our anniversary <laughs> on the same day. Yes, I got married the same day as my parents. Um, the only difference is my parents actually celebrated their 50th anniversary, so I want to congratulate them on 50 years of being together and happy blissful marriage. <laughs> Hopefully me and Nick can actually make it that far. Um, we celebrated, I think, our 8th. I can't even remember. That's how, like, we haven't even been together that long and I can't remember. But <laughs> I think it's the 8th. We celebrate our 8th anniversary. Um, we had a little backyard thing. It was good. Uh, but I think me and Nick are probably going to take a day to uh, do some of the things that we enjoy together. Uh, possibly hiking, maybe going up to Blue Mountain. Not sure yet. Um, but we're going to do something. <laughs> the other announcement that has to do with the... It's sort of interrelated to the shop. Um, Fan Expo is happening this year, and I don't know how many of you actually attend Fan Expo in Toronto. Uh, it's been shut down because of COVID for the past two years, no, year and a half? Year and a half? Probably year and a half. Um, but they're having a mini show in October for three days instead of four. Uh, and I decided to put in an application for Artist Alley. Uh, so if you are in Toronto and you're going to the Fan Expo show in October, uh, be sure to visit. You know, just say hi. Um, I decided to put in my application. That doesn't necessarily mean that I will get a table. It just means that I am eligible to get a table for Artist Alley. I don't know how they're going to do everything with the COVID restrictions and all that, but we'll see. Um, last year, my husband showed at, no, well, year before that, my husband showed at the convention. Uh, he is probably not going to do it again. <laughs> but when I was there with him, I said, you know, I don't really want to do the convention, but I will sit there and I will help you sell your stuff. Uh, and I did that, but I got bored halfway through and then I started drawing some stuff for his table, anime stuff, and this one person uh, picked up, because I was drawing Sailor Scouts, because Sailor Scouts are pretty easy to draw, so I was drawing, like, the main Sailor Scouts, and this one woman picked up a drawing, like two of the drawings on two of the days. She missed one day and then another person snatched up Jupiter and Mars. And she was so upset that she didn't get the full set because I had drawn the full set, but it, it went to different people. Um, you know, and then I couldn't find her again to tell her, you know, if you want, I can redraw them for you. I just don't. Uh, but at the time, I think it was the last day of the convention, so, you know, is what it is. Uh, but because of that, I was kind of like, you know, maybe I should start drawing again. Maybe I should, you know, go to an, go to the expo and see how it goes. And if it doesn't go well or I don't get a table, you know what, I'm okay with that. Um, the shop is doing so well. It got, oh, that was another announcement, 200 sales uh, in the past two and a half, no, three and a half months. So, you know, it did, it, I'm, like, 200 sales, you guys are awesome. I am so thankful for the people that have helped me, um, bought from me, um, given me encouragement in terms of uh, drawing, in terms of starting my Etsy shop. Um, you know, it's, it's really appreciated, and not a lot of people would go out of their way to be very supportive of either someone they don't know or, you know, in general. So, thank you. 200 sales. Awesome. Hopefully we can keep going and if I get to 500 I might do a shop sale, uh, like a percentage off, but we'll see. I don't want to get ahead of myself and we'll see how that goes. Uh, in terms of the shop, there were a few things that I added to the shop. So I don't know if you remember from the last vlog, but uh, the Spirited Away keychains that I had ordered was sold out pretty quickly. Um, and then I reordered. And in the past month and a half, I have reordered Spirited Away keychains three or four times, so obviously the keychains are doing really well and I figured if people like the Spirited Away ones then I would assume that they would like the other Ghibli ones since the stickers were doing pretty well. Uh, so I ordered the My Neighbor Totoro and Ponyo keychains. 
And this is the My Neighbor Totoro one, and hopefully it focuses on it. Um, I ordered this one, and it sold out pretty fast. Uh, and then I ordered it, ordered it again, and um, I think it'll be a continual shop seller, this one. Uh, then I ordered Ponyo, so here's the Ponyo one I'll show you. And again, hopefully it focuses on the artwork. The only issue with the Ponyo one was I ended up getting um, a few of them damaged. I ordered these from Sticker Mule. Um, and a few of them came damaged, and so I took photos of the ones that were chipped or nicked or scratched, and I sent it to them. And when I sent it to them, they automatically sent me my order all over again. Therefore, I got ten of each, and that means they gave me extra keychains for free because of the quality control and the fact that a lot of them were nicked and scratched. Um, so would I order from them again? Yes, simply because of the customer service and the price point. Um, I've also ordered keychains before for Zap, from Zap Creative. Zap Creative is further away from where I am, so their shipping takes quite a bit of time. Um, and I've never gotten their stuff damaged, but I'm assuming that if I had to take photos and then resend it, it would take a long time to get another order. Um, and by that time, I wouldn't have any stock. So, I would probably say that Sticker Mule is the better option for uh, these keychains if you want something that's fast and um, if you want something that has decent quality. Um, but I would probably say to them that they should probably find a better way to package it, and that's the only thing. Like, if they found a better way to package it, because I'm pretty sure when they put it in the box, it was not damaged, but because of the way that it's packaged in a Ziploc, it like clanks around in the box and then once it gets to the person or it arrives it gets nicked and scratched from the acrylic rubbing on the other acrylic. So yeah, the other thing is my friend wanted coffee stickers. She loves coffee and she wanted coffee stickers and she's like you should do some coffee stickers and I'm like okay I'll do some coffee stickers for you. So as soon as I did them she bought them immediately. Um, and they have like little slogans on them and these are probably my favorite just because they have these like really doughy eyes that like say buy me. So <laughs> this one says latte love a hug and a mug. Um, yeah they didn't do as well as I would have liked, but they are really cute. So this is It's Always Java Time. And this one is powered by iced coffee. So yeah, she bought them as soon as they came out. As soon as they came out, she bought them, and I was like, <laughs> you really love your coffee. Um, but yeah, they are really cute, and uh, I did find that with uh, original art that I do, it doesn't sell as well as the fan art. Um, I guess it's because people know what that stuff is, they know what anime it's from, and they tend to relate more to it just because of that. Uh, because of that, for the shop, I'll probably do, be doing half and half, where it's half original work and half fan art. I don't really want my Etsy shop to be all fan art. Um, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose of having, like, originality, so... Um, you can still be original with with fan art, but you have to be in the mood to want to draw fan art. So speaking of fan art, I did do, uh, and these, these are two movies where they're beautifully drawn, beautifully animated, um, and I highly re recommend watching them if you haven't yet. Uh, I did one for Your Name. Uh, Your Name is a romance movie, anime movie, that is beautifully drawn. Um, one of my favorite movies. The other one I did was Weathering With You. Weathering With You, I didn't much like the story as much, but the animation, again, beautiful, same director. Um, both stickers are available in my shop. They're both in charm form, simply because both movies happen uh, near a temple or have a temple in it. Uh, one of them says happiness, and the other one says love, I believe, in Japanese. So in addition to the Weathering With You and the Your Name stickers, 
I also added bookmarks to the shop. Um, again, trial and error. Um, I was testing the market to see if bookmarks would actually sell on my Etsy account. Uh, and they did sell. The fan art ones sold really well. But I kind of knew that they, the fan art ones would. <laughs> um, it was Howl's Moving Castle and Kiki's Delivery Service. So these drawings I did um, probably around the end of 2020, maybe early 2021. Uh, so these two sold pretty fairly well. They have little graphics on the back. Um, these two are more of the original artwork that I draw for myself. Um, you'll see that when I draw original stuff, like the anime stuff, you'll see like if the character's happy, usually it means that I was probably happy that day, or if the character's sad, I might have been sad that day. Um, I use original artwork like that sort of as therapy to expel like how I'm feeling. So this one um, around the end of 2020 was sort of like, it says shine through adversity and a lot of that has to do with um, looking at the positives when there's a lot of negativity around you. Uh, so this is the drawing that resulted from that. Um, the other one I want to touch base on, I won't talk about it for too long. Um, simply because it's sort of a touchy subject, um, is this one. So the quote on the back is, In this world, hate never yet dispelled hate, only love dispels hate. This is law ancient and inexhaustible. So this quote is from Buddha. And the drawing of this says in Chinese, it says, um, stop hate. Doesn't say stop Asian hate, doesn't say anything else. Um, it has to do with what happened with Asian hate that's been going around simply because of the pandemic. Um, I have experienced personally, uh, not just racism and Asian hate, but also, um, also gender bias. Uh, and it was not pleasant. So, you know, do, I wish that in life, you know, people can accept each other for who they are. Uh, where they come from, respect the culture, respect, you know, the history that's there, and treat people fairly and equally. Um, in a perfect world, yes, you know, that, that would happen, but it's, it's not a perfect world. This is a very imperfect world that we live in. And I would say to those of you that have experienced gender bias or racism in any form, I would say to you that try to, you know, persevere in your own life and try to do what you can in your own bubble and hopefully if we all do that you know it'll make the world somewhat better as a woman and as a minority <laughs> i don't like feeling like you know the amount of work that you put in doesn't matter how hard you work it will not be rewarded simply because you're female simply because you're a minority that to me is like one of the worst feelings in the world and I did experience that. So yeah, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Hopefully the world will be, be a better place later on. Hopefully things will get better. Um, you know, we can always hope. So I will leave it at that and move on to the next topic. <laughs> the other thing that I wanna talk about is you'll probably see me putting together a chair in this vlog. Uh, I. So my husband and I have, we share an office and uh, he was complaining about his back. Oh honey, my back, my back's hurting me. And he had an Ikea chair. Um, we both had the Ikea chair. The Ikea chair served us well. We moved twice and it survived that and it was still functioning. We could still sit in it. It was still decent when we moved to the house. Um, but he wanted a new chair for gaming and we wanted an ergonomic one. So we bought the Autonomous. Uh, I don't know if you guys know that brand, but it is basically what I'm sitting in right now. But what I found with the Autonomous is that for people who are like 5'11 and taller, perfect for them, perfect. But when I sit in it, it's like my back is like literally leaning like a lazy boy. And because of this, I do this and I can't reach the keyboard. So like, my husband has long arms, so he's fine. But for me, I'm sitting there and I can't reach the keyboard. So I have to shuffle 
forward in order to reach my keyboard and mouse. So I ended up buying the Hiken. Um, I had this chair before at, uh, at another place that I worked at and it, it helps the posture and everything, which I need because I, I have bad posture, but uh, yeah, so I find with the Hiken, anyone who is 5'7", like 5'6", five, 5'5", five, five, and uh, want to reach their keyboard, <laughs> it's a better, it's a more comfortable and better chair to sit in. Um, so this one's probably going to go down, this one's probably going to go downstairs to the sewing area and become my sewing chair. I'll just have to lean forward. And then when I want to watch TV, I'll probably, you know, use it to lean back and pull out the footrest. Yes, this chair has a footrest. Um, so I don't really need a footrest for the office, but the basement is fine. So, um, yeah, you might see me putting together a chair and you might laugh at how badly I follow instructions. But anyway... <laughs> Um, that's everything, and yeah, you, you get to see all of it. There's our naughty cat. And why is he naughty, you ask? Because all he thinks about is going outside. Right, Atlas? That's all you ever think about, is going outside. But today, because you beg so much, I don't think Nick is going to ever let you out again. You made him really mad. In any case, here is the hiking chair. This box is freaking huge. I couldn't bring it upstairs, so Nick brought it upstairs. And I'm gonna get to opening it. So here are the pieces to the hiking chair that I took out of the box. Um, <laughs> it's got like, instructions then step two three four five six is that six either way it seems a little complicated <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes hopefully it's not like ikea where it's just drawings and they actually explain some stuff um sit down on the job in custom comfort the chair on the bed <laughs> but I had to move it to the box um, as I said if you're gonna assemble this type of hiking chair from Staples assemble it on a desk or a table surface um, yeah the bed wasn't very very good idea the problem is this back part has to be on an angle in order to get it in at an angle for those three screws so I actually had to get Nick to help me because this piece in the middle is super heavy. Uh, so I'm going to go screw that in and then we'll go to the next step. today uh, from a company called Marlin Digital. Now me and this company have gone back way back when I started my graphic design all the way to when I started my graphic design career. Um, I use Marlin Digital for all of my paper, banner, POP printing. Every place that I've worked at I've recommended him and by him, I mean Rafi. Rafi is uh, one of the people that work at Marlin Digital and he's, he's very knowledgeable in production and everything. Um, and I've known him for quite some time. So today I had him print, well not today, I had him print uh, backer cards because I ran out of backer cards for the shop. <laughs> I got, as I said, I got 200 sales and with that came a lackage of stock for the backer cards. So we're gonna open this up and see what Rafi has sent me today. So, 
notice I am cutting in the opposite direction of myself because last time I did not do that and I was not smart about it at all. I don't think I am strong enough. That's a lot of recycle paper. All right. Put the box over here. So these are the backer cards for my orders, and um, looks like he included some cardboard with it. Thank God, because I was cutting the cardboard manually, um, <laughs> and I don't particularly like cutting stuff manually. It takes a hell of a long time to package things when you're doing it manually. Um, so yeah, I upgraded the backer cards because when I started out I was printing them on my regular printer, my re regular inkjet, and I wanted to use the regular inkjet for, um, for printing stickers. I didn't really want to use it for the backer cards because I wanted thicker stock, um, and I wanted nicer print quality. It is 7.15 on a Friday morning. Here is Mr. Atlas eating his treats. I'm trying to give him extra love since we are not going to be here for the majority of the day. What do you want? Wow. <laughs> Scary. Making a light breakfast. Light, very light. One piece of toast. Uh, today we're celebrating our ninth anniversary, right? As I said eight, and I was wrong. <laughs> yes, there is my husband in all his glory. Chocolate, peanut butter, and strawberries. Packaging is kind of cool. Oh, they only gave us one piece. You know the chocolate's melting already? Uh -oh. A little bit. I told you, man. It's a they hot only... day today. What a scam. We only got one piece. I mean, one gigantic square. <laughs> the size of a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Is it? Yes. It should better that. Can we never eat a piece? Mmm, chocolate. 